<laughs> Laser hair, thanks for the seven months. David, he vegetable. Anyway, I've been busy. I've been busy, and today, in eight and a half hours, my friend has come over and we're gonna do training together. Physical training. I'm going to become strong. And then, an hour after that, people are coming over for games night. And that's gonna go until like 10 p.m. And then I'm gonna watch Formula One for two hours. This doesn't seem possible, does it? So yeah, I don't know. Something in there is gonna not work, clearly. Um, that's too much time. So we'll just do what we can, I guess. In love. I mean, I think I'm always just removing here right now, so I could just remove here and then go this way instead. That seems good. Get rid of the shame. Am I going to lift Giria in real life? Unironically, yes. I have three cattle balls. So, unironically, yes. What do you think about Searing Blow? It's pretty terrible, isn't it? Okay. Plus nine strength. Yeah, I think so. I think that's how the math works. My deck's just like perfectly set up to take that card, so I took it. I don't know. <laughs> it's maybe not my proudest moment in my life, but it's also a pretty good act for it. Maybe it will win. Maybe it won't. Yeah, there are a lot of two-cost cards. Arguably too many two-cost cards. Maybe a Sneko Eye, maybe just a fourth energy relic. Could be good. Hey, shut down. I don't know. Searing Blow killed Lagavulin, okay. Ice Cream, that will never do anything. What if I had two Imperviouses in a 15 card deck on floor 7? That could be good. Okay. We're listening to just every They Might Be Giant song, I believe. So, you know. Pervious is a block card, allegedly. You know. Hello. Impervious, hello. All right, I have blocked for 60. 64. Um, oh, that's a pretty good bloodletting. Also a pretty good whirlwind. I think I'm taking battle trance though. Sun Glitters is becoming your favorite Slew the Spire streamer. Oh well. I remember the good old days when you liked me just as much as Sun Glitters. But I guess, you know, hard to keep up with that level of high quality content. 
31 block impervious. Imagine if I had a Sneko <laughs> or or a fourth energy. That hand would have been better, is all I'm saying. Manchester United? Everton? Who's Everton? Is that like Bridgerton? I love all Slay the Spire streamers equally, just some more equally than others. Same. Me as well. Good morning, Mikey. Have I forgotten that I have ice cream like seven times this fight so far? Possibly. Who's keeping track now? Who's counting? What if Searing Blow dealt 42 damage? Hey, I made an upgraded bludgeon. It's the best day of my life. He, the brought man. Seemed like a good time to draw Impervious, huh? Caramel Queen, thanks for the 17 months! Ice Cream is doing a surprisingly large amount given that my deck has 3 energy per turn and wants to spend about 17 energy per turn. Perfected Strike and Searing Blow do have a strange tension between the two of them. That's very true. This Corruption seems incredibly good. Okay. Um... I think it's just Coffee Dripper. Pandora's box could be very good here. They are oddly smooth sound defense though, so they're a bit better than usual. How do we have a plus five Searing Blow? I'm playing a modified version of the game where I make bad decisions instead of good ones. So I could just thanks the nine months, appreciate it. But why male models? Yes. Fight. I have defeated the Spheric Guardian. Gotta take our moments. Right? Gotta take our moments. Gotta take Warped Tongues. Ah! Do I have to take Warped Tongues? I could just take an upgrade on Searing Blow.
Didn't know that enemy was called Spirit Guardian. There's no way that's its name, is there? No way. I don't believe it. There's a pretty strong argument, I think, for not wanting the pain. Because my deck is an attempt to draw Searing Blow every turn, right? And having a pain in the deck. That's just one more card to get through. I think it does enough. Just makes the other cards so much stronger. So many upgrades on Searing Blow on turn 10. Gosh, imagine getting like Apotheosis. Apotheosis and then Warp Tongues will hit Searing Blow every single turn for the rest of the entire run. He just Jake. Do you think maybe they might be giants or uh, nerds? Currently I'm listening to They Might Be Giants. I'm pretty sure that I won't listen to them all day. Like eventually I'm going to start having some commitment anxiety or something. Apotheosis and a couple of fiend fires. I think if we have a couple of fiend fires we're in danger of just killing things without having to use Searing Blow. So we got to make sure that we don't get such good damage that having a single card that deals like bludgeon for two stops actually being good. Sever soul, dark embrace. Wait, wait, I think that's good. Never transform pain. Why? It gives you a different curse. Is this a run with relics that actually do things? Uh, I don't know, is it? Didn't really look at my relics. They seem vaguely okay. Every curse basically does the same thing. Uh, Rise doesn't do the same thing as other curses. Animals can smell your dreams. Okay, they might be giants. Oh, I'm upgrading Searing Blow, right? I was like, okay, what should I upgrade? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what sort of fucking question is that? I should probably upgrade um, Corruption and Dark Embrace, though. Like, that's probably actually the right play. What does Seversol Plus do? Four. Eleven. It's twenty-two? Thirty-three? Thirty-four? It's not enough.
I thought about dealing damage to the front one instead of the back one. Maybe it was right. Is there a reason why the wiki is so consistently wrong about things? I don't know. I don't have the answer. Searing blow. I trusted you. All right. Ceramic fish is finally here. It's an okay second wind, but second wind and corruption sort of try to do the same thing, unfortunately. I think I should actually upgrade Corruption Dark Embrace. How much damage do I need Searing Blow to deal? Like, actually? Good afternoon, Shashiwaka! Is that good? Probably actually draw some cards this round. Purple frog blazing for 20 months. We could infinitely play Searing Blow twice a turn. That's a pretty good infinite. I think it just doesn't do things reliably enough. Hey Merle, it's going okay. Wait, I found Apotheosis? Wait. And Bottled Flame. Twitch chat said I should take a Bottled Flame. I remember. I mean, I feel like I have to do it, because it's hilarious. It is very funny. Should probably work out how to block at some point. Maybe rage, maybe not. Great shop. Did I make my deck better or worse? I'm not 100% sure. Hopefully better. I made it funnier? That seems accurate. I could have upgraded Searing Blow before playing it. Massive misplay. Thanks, but two months never run. You would have been hard pressed to not remove Perfected Strike instead of Pain. I'm not a fan of Perfected Strike, but it hits for like 12 or something. It's so much. It's more than Strike, it's twice as much as Strike. Just wondering if I want Reckless Charge. Feels like I could pretty rapidly end up playing a deck that was actually good if I took Reckless Charge. That isn't really what I'm here for though, I don't think. I could also take Warcry. And Fire Breathing. They're all like fine. I 
Apotheosis upgrades cards for that combat. Why does this fight exist? What did I do to deserve this? There's a hundred bit stuck. Holy shit. <laughs> what did what did they do to deserve that? Maybe a better question. I'm going to take third impervious. I don't know if he knows about third impervious Pippin. He does. He does know about third impervious. Impervious collector bonus. It's more likely than you think. Any searing blows in my deck. That is a Feel No Pain Plus. So I have Corruption, Dark Embrace, Feel No Pain Plus, and Mummified Hand. And for some reason I also have a Searing Blow with um six upgrades on it. <laughs> I don't know. I have no explanation. I cannot justify my actions. I'm going to upgrade it again. That's a lot of Impervious plus. Impervious is a bad card because it's not Impervious Strike. I mean, it makes some sense. Searing Blow and nothing else good real. We gotta play this. Plus 10. Hot juggernaut. <laughs> Fuck. There's, it's just a better damage than the Searing Blow that I have seven upgrades on. It's just better. It just deals damage to things better. This is awful. This is the worst day of my life. What cheese stick? That sounds very not true, but I don't know. Oh. Black Star, I guess? I don't know. I don't really want Choker with all of these skills and powers. And no real reason for that energy anyway. Searing Blue needs more upgrades, then it will be a better damage card. Okay. That makes sense to me. You can do that. Is it Imperviouses or Imp Impervi? Impervii? I would guess Impervii.
I really think they might be giants, might be nerds. I hate to break it to you all. Would I buy a mirror to copy Searing Blow? Of course. I mean, it, like, that's not a question about what's correct to do. That's a question about whether I would do the obviously required most fun thing possible or not. Obviously, I would do the obviously required most thing possible. How do I play three Searing Blows in one turn to end this fight? Um... You might be slightly overestimating the <laughs> ability of the Darklings to, like, be invincible or something. I don't know. They're not invincible. They do die when you attack them with a variety of things. I think I'm taking a trench. If I got a barricade, it would be honestly unnecessary, I think. Lull away, yes! Next 18 months. another feel not bad and a strike remove i think i actually do remove perfected strike over strike at this point huh i don't need this people die when you kill them allegedly Ooh, what was that key change? There was another Searing Blow? Oh no. Have I made a mistake? Gotta upgrade it. Brother Bluto! He changes that John Linnell isn't a good singer, so he just does things. Yeah, I mean, I respect that. I respect that on a musician. You gotta know your wheelhouse, and sometimes your wheelhouse is singing badly. He's really good at being a bad singer. Yeah. Yeah, he is. I feel like I should play it even though it deals one. Yeah. Feels like the right play. Any Juggernauts? Wait, Juggernaut is in play? Oh. Oh, you're just like dead already? Alright. GG, Nemesis. Dreamcatcher and Meat on the Bone. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Body Slam might deal more damage than Searing Blow. <laughs> God damn it. I'm not taking it. Out of principle. enough block yeah is this darklings round two it is it is indeed hopefully we'll survive Oop. i think we'll survive no corruption wait it's not what i wanted to draw A 
what makes these di darklings higher up on the ladder? They're just uh, better looking. It's just uh, like life hacks, easy mode sort of thing. Had to butt. Don't. No, there's no reason to take that. He said, but so did you. What now? Wait. Y'all aren't saying what you type out loud? Wow. I'm impressed. Always say everything you type, me too. Sometimes when I type a real banger comment, I'll say it twice. Fucking juggernaut. Stealing the show. Okay. It's an impervious collector bonus, or I could just take offering. But but it's a collector bonus. I don't know if I've ever had impervious collector bonus. I mean, I probably wouldn't remember if I had. I don't really know which one's better. Probably offering. Both fine. I should just make sure I take one of them instead of not taking one of them. Have to go for points, that's how you win. Mm -hmm. Okay. Shouldn't have played True Grit, no reason to play True Grit. And it feels like Spire rewarding my meme choices. Absolutely. It looked upon my deck building decisions and was pleased. It would be a shame if you were just dead. He was stomping around with my giant carbon footprint. Oh my god. Oh my god. He squeak. Another shockwave? Probably. Probably. Will I kill this? I might kill it. I could have played Bash. I suppose. YouTube can work out that I'm listening to They Might Be Giants. YouTube viewers are smart. Bunch of smart cuties. Not like, uh, live viewers. Live viewers are like, okay. They're an acquired taste. 
YouTube viewers though. Mm. Oh man. Just the best. <laughs> there are like five people in my chat right now claiming to be YouTube viewers. All right, all right, sure, sure you are. Me too. So am I. Oh, that doesn't draw itself? That's rude. I feel like that should draw itself. Alpha ink bottle. Almost! I could have killed it if I'd... Well, maybe. Probably. Maybe. There's a YouTube Jorbs. There's a YouTube Jorbs. Did you not know that? Oh my gosh, you're missing out. YouTube Jorbs is a fan favorite. There are Jorbs MySpace. I had a MySpace once. That site was fucking weird. Remember, like, picking who your best friends were? <laughs> what a fucking weird thing to do. Jorbs Live Journal? You want to know my innermost thoughts and secrets? Is YouTube Jorbs a bit rude or is he generally a good guy? Um, I mean, you know. You can't judge people too harshly. There's been a pandemic and stuff. Oh, I thought that was Searing Blow. That was Sever Soul though. Got some sustain, that seems good. I don't even want this battle trance, I don't think. Maybe it's fine. I mean, it's fine. Let's take it. What if I took a Dark Embrace? Okay. YouTube, Jorbs actually takes Prismatic Shard and Claw less often. Interesting. I saw YouTube Jorbs at the grocery store recently. I went up to him and asked him if he would be okay with posing for a photo with me. And I said, sorry, I don't want to annoy you. And he said, like you're doing now. And then, fuck, I don't remember this coffee bust. <laughs> I tried my best. <laughs> No! Searing blow! Ugh. Unlucky.
a cute song. I haven't listened to They Might Be Irons in like 10 years or something. You're on vacation listening to your boyfriend snore. I'm glad that it is cute. I personally would not find it cute to hear your boyfriend snoring, I don't think. But fortunately, my opinion is irrelevant here. How do I prefer my blows seared? Thoroughly. I take my blows uh, well done, like my steak. Taking no prisoners today. Please have mercy, friend awakened one. had that discussion two days ago. I know, I was going back to it again. That's what we do here on the internet. It's a lot of work to like have a new discussion every day. Would you like to hear about um, racism? We talk about that a lot. Probably worth talking about in fairness. Maybe there are more productive ways to do it. That from cannibalism. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could talk about cannibalism too. Am I pro or anti racism? Good grief. I played armaments first. Oops. Was this a good turn? What do y'all think? <laughs> it seems like an okay turn. <laughs> Look at. How is this Searing Blow deck working? Well, it has. Um, Apotheosis, Corruption, Dark Embrace times 2, Feel No Pain times 2, Juggernaut. So, it may not have much to do with the Searing Blow, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Lightning Green, thanks for the 8 months. Can't believe the shop didn't have Dolly's Mirror, that would be nice. That is too bad. Hmm. How does this turn work? I want to play three cards. So I have this next turn. I don't know if that was right. It was probably not right. This was a good choice.
I should heal back to full off my powers, right? I think so. Just barely. Frost Prime. Wait, what? Oh, we're okay. Ink bottle to the rescue. Can we keep banning the teen mutsy for G? I did make it back to exactly full health. That's a good feeling. Fossilized Helix Doofu Doll. Okay. Do I want a pommel strike? Is that like a thing I need? I don't think so. Hope not. Dark Embrace imply. I guess no Juggernaut unless, well, 50 50, right? Unlucky. It's okay, get it later. Multi attack first, rude. This feels like a situation where I just give up on the buffer charge. Probably. This doesn't do enough. Could I keep it if I wanted to? I think I could. This like doesn't do much, because next time I'm blocking anyway, I think. Caitlyn. <laughs> oh my god, Logan. <laughs> that is quite upsetting. I'm upset. Hey, Jinoki. So I need to put Juggernaut in play. Okay. Does this make block differently from Mentalicize? I think it might. It appears that it does.
Holy shit. <laughs> what? What? My. Well, I certainly won the Siren Quad run. Unless I didn't. I think I did, though. In 51 minutes and 53 seconds, in fact. Good run. In New Zealand, the government can veto your child name for your kid. There's like a government department that's like, no, that's a dumb thing to uh, call your kid. 